I'm going to be showing you how you can revert liquid glass on macOS Tahoe. So let's say you just don't like how liquid glass looks. Understandable, a lot of people just don't like change. Well, there's actually a way to revert it back. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open the app terminal. Now I pasted a terminal command down in the description down below. And it's actually very simple. So all you got to do is copy that and then paste it in here and then press enter. And then it's going to ask you for your password. So then you just type in your password. It will not show you your password. But then after that, just press enter and then it will run the command. So basically what this is doing is that it's creating a new plist. So Liquid Glass and the old design are still inside of Mac OS Tahoe, believe it or not. And they're just working side by side. And basically what this does is that it just has everything inside of here and then it just takes it all out. So this is just disabling it all, making sure that it just doesn't work. Internally, Liquid Glass is called Solarium and then we're just turning enable to false. So after that, all you got to do is restart your Mac, and I'm going to show you what it looks like after the restart. It's Tahoe, and you're going to notice that it looks a lot different. So you're going to notice that the dock does not have a background because Apple has completely rewritten the background of the dock to use liquid glass. And you're going to notice a couple of little differences. So the menu bar is going to be smaller again. Widgets are not going to show up unless you do that. And I'm going to show you how to fix some of these issues. The first one we're going to fix here is the widget issue. So of course you're going to see that system settings looks like how it did inside of Mac OS Sequoia. Maybe just a little bit different inside of here. Although there's no liquid glass. It's just like how it was before. To simply fix your widgets, all you gotta do is go into desktop and dock, and then dim widgets on desktop, you're gonna wanna do never. So what this will do is that it will make the widgets just completely black, and then it will just always make sure it just looks like that. So if you rather have transparent widgets, you can do automatically, or you just do never depending on what you would like to do. For the dock, there's like no re really easy way to fix that, but if you're okay with a transparent dock, then this is for you. Now let's take a look at what Safari looks like and you're going to see that Safari is a little bit buggy here but if you're okay with the bugginess then it's all alright. You're going to see that some things are just a little bit off. You, and you also have compact tabs. Now it will be a little bit different inside of here so if you're okay with a little bit of minor visuals issues then that's alright. Now keep in mind the reason why it looks like this is because developers have put effort into making their apps look good on Tahoe. Another example is Willy Study. So apps that are supportive for liquid glass and that specify that stuff that needs to be liquid glass. You're going to see there's a couple of bugginess issues right here. You're also going to see like some buttons are just look way off. But at least you have the Sequoia design back that you turned off liquid glass. That's what it does. And you're also going to notice that the clock and calendar app icons are also back to how they were. However, inside the apps app, you're going to see at least with clock, it looks like what it was inside of macOS Tahoe. But with calendar, it's what it was inside of Sequoia. So a few minor visual issues right here, but how do you revert it back? To do this, all you got to do is open up the terminal app and you got to paste this command in here. So uh, it's a pseudo command, so you're going to need to type in your password once again, and then it's going to revert back after a restart. Thanks for watching. Come on, and subscribe. Download my apps in the description down below, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!